Yes, we've got Ultima and Domizi up next. Domizi, a Fresno native. A Sagat player. Yes, a Sagat. Played Vega for a, a long time, finally hopped off that train, and is <laughs> now uh, firmly settled on Sagat here in Season 4. And he'll be going up against, like we said, Ultima, who's going to be playing Rashid. Yeah. I no saw question about it. I saw Ultima playing earlier, looking really, really good. My question is, so Ultima has some experience in the Sagat matchup. My question would be for your homeboy, Domizi, does he have Rashid matchup knowledge? Otherwise, it's going to be a tough one. It, I think it could be a tough one for Domizi because we really don't have a whole lot of Rashids here in uh, Fresno. I don't think we have any, to be honest. I'm probably actually going to be talking about some of the tech that uh, Sagat has against Ultima as we go through the scenes of this match because there's actually quite a few things Sagat can do to take advantage of uh, Rashid's weapons. Yeah. But you have to actually have studied and done the matchup experience. So the question is, is Domizi, has he at least kind of done some homework? Has he done some research? Because, mm -hmm. you know, Rashid, very prominent character these days. Yeah. Like, for example, right, if um, Rashid's V-Skill can roll under fireballs. So if you, if you throw a little fireball, he can he could just roll under it. But if you throw a high fireball, he actually can't. Really? You yeah, he can't react at the very at the very end of it. Well, that is some interesting tech right there. So it's actually better off to throw uh, standing fireballs, uh, fast standing fireballs in certain ranges. So if he tries to activate v um, roll V skill, he gets clipped. When typically with Sagat, like the game plan is always to pretty much go for low fireballs. Yeah. But mm -hmm. against Rashid, you kind of have to mix that up. Yeah, and this is just the first layer because that ends up forcing them to either walk forward and take the chip or try and figure out the jump in which you can anti air. At, at, and then at that, if you're throwing the right fireballs at the right distances, he can never jump. Well then, that's and that's the um, first layer. If he doesn't have that, this could be troublesome. This could be, yeah. I mean, if we're gonna see right now if uh, Domizi's been doing his homework, because if he has, then everything you just said, you know, Sagat like can really dictate the pace of this match. And you can tell Domizi to go ahead and go home and watch, uh, hear me talk about that and test it himself as well. Yeah. If he doesn't know that already, we'll find out though. We'll find out. All right. We got that classic Sagat versus Airman Rashid. Oh. Already started off. That would have been if that was a high tiger shot. Wouldn't have worked. Look at that. Rashid already gets him in the corner. Already, Sagat's got to work his way out, and it's going to be a very tall order. Yeah, he's already close to stun with no meters to challenge, and going to spend the reversal, so he has no clutch factor anymore. Yes. Yeah. Domzi is player already one. gets the stun. That's going to be the round, and a perfect on top of that. How many perfects have we seen today so far? Was it two or three? I think we've seen Round two so far. Two. Early start to the piece. Yeah. So it's uh, already looking like a bit of an uphill battle here for Domizi. Ultima looking very comfortable. And you already see the hesitation. Uh, and now he finally throws it again. All right, he's going to push him out, but he, he's going to have nothing. And he's refusing to throw that fireball. Up. No yeah. push, too far. I don't think he's even tried throwing a high tiger shot yet. No. I think this is this is character awareness. Oh, that was character great punish awareness. there. Okay, look at that. Ultima trying to bait things out in the front, in the back, high and low, tornadoes Trust. and oh. spinning all around. He is just going all over the place, just trying to suffocate him. See, Domizi is not able to find the distance. Oh, but he might get the distance oh, he here. Gets the hit. No conversion. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do it. Let them know you are willing to wake up EXDP. And you cannot throw that fireball at, at all when he has VT2 ready to rock and roll. Oh, that was that was clean from Ultima. Very clean. He looked like he knew exactly what to do at every point in that matchup. And Omizi just kind of looking a bit Round lost, one. and that time scared. The, the thing is, if he since he doesn't have some of the technical knowledge in this matchup, he should opt to go play more offense, in my opinion, because defense will not win you this match here. No, Ultima already has better control on the ground overall. Although he's got clipped a bunch of times just right now. Yeah, he got clipped a lot just trying to get in there. I mean, look at that. If I see more like buttons. A, I'm liking this. Be more aggressive with them. Don't be afraid to challenge him on stuff. No. 
Oh no. He's in the corner. He's close to stun. One hit's gonna do it. He better. Oh. Nope. Not gonna get away from that. And again. Although did better in the neutral. Once he got to the corner, he had nothing to offer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was doing way, way better in the neutral. Wasn't really even landing any big combos. He was just getting hits here, a yeah. few hits there. And just kind of, you know, like challenging him more. Mm -hmm. But eventually, Rashid is just going to get you in the corner. And that's not going to help either. Yep. And it's looking like Ultima's got this one all sewn up. There's all about. Ultima in every single round so far. And wakes up with the standing jab. Okay, so big decent damage, damage but gets one more shot. Still got a big mountain to climb here. He can't throw a fireball. BTC is ready again. Oh, it doesn't and matter. Ultima's got nothing to really be concerned about here. Not at all. He's actually at chip territory. Yeah. He's very close to it. He's going to try and maybe chip away with BT. Oh, and Do Domizi spending all his meter. I think Ultima's just sort of saying, like, you know what? Do it. I, I don't care. Oh, the overhead. He Not, got him. Nothing Domizi had to offer for Ultima to, to fear Ultima. really anything. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much that whole match. Um, Ultima had nothing to fear. And just early on, too, he was making Domizi just scared to even throw fireballs. And, out, and yeah, like you were, t that tech you were talking about at the beginning. Uh, it's very clear Domizi was not aware of it, and I don't think he even tried throwing a high tiger shot that entire match just not to a single see one. if, not you know, maybe one. that would have fared better. Yeah, but then, like, in theory, when you think high tiger shot, he should be able to roll under that, right? So yeah, you, I mean, true, like, on paper, it's like, you wouldn't <laughs> think that it would work that way. Yeah. It's like, oh, he's going to be able to roll under a high tiger shot, obviously, you know, mm -hmm. physics would dictate that, but, but no, it's the other way around. <laughs> not in this game. Yeah, this game, uh... This game operates on another level. <laughs> but, but yeah, unfortunately, yeah, Domizi, nothing to offer. Um, I hope he will rewatch the video and tries that tech because um, it will change that matchup um, on the first layer itself. Help open up the, um, the fireball game uh, and your defensive game as well.